Hi there, and thank you for tuning into this uh, two-part tutorial on how to simulate biochemical reaction kinetics. The first part of this tutorial is an a, a very brief introduction to mathematical modeling of enzyme-catalyzed uh, reactions. In, in short, um, how do you write down mathematical equations to simulate a process such as this um, substance or substrate S transforming into product P. This is a uni-uni molecular reaction, simplest kind of reaction you can think of. A uni, uni, uh, we have, we have one um, reactant S turning into one product P. The canonical model for this irreversible process, if we model that as an irreversible process, is called the Michaelis-Menten um, mechanism or the Michaelis-Menten model. There, oh, there's a lot of history here. Um, there's a nice reference actually that uh, provides an English translation of the original 1913 Michaelis-Menten paper, but also a uh, discussion of history and discussion of the mathematical analysis presented by Michaelis and Menten. Um, we're not going to go through the Michaelis Menten analysis. Instead, we're going to go through a, 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 a method for writing down differential equations describing this process that can then be simulated using uh, simple computer programs. And how to simulate um, this system will be. Uh, it's subject of part two of, of this tutorial. So all of the processes that you see. So 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 this what, what what's happening here in this in this mechanism is that we have an enzyme E, okay, uh, and then the, the the reactant S can bind with enzyme E, forming a complex, and then somehow at this complex or another, the S is transformed into P, and 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 the, there's an unbinding step, returning the f the original free unbound enzyme in product P. Okay, so all of the basic steps or um, or state transitions in this um, in, in this process are the kinds of um, things that are, are part of e even much more complicated enzyme kinetic models. So this is a, 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 a diagram of a model that I just grabbed for um, malate dehydrogenase. So it looks very complicated but all of the th all of the um, processes that are that are uh, involved in all of these transformations for a mechanism that's that looks as complicated as this one are actually going to be the same kinds of things that we're going to be um, um, modeling as we put together a model to simulate the simple Michaelis Menten model. Okay, oh, and then I, I put a little pr picture of a propeller here just to remind me to tell you that. Um, the assumption here is that the system is well mixed, so there's no sp there's no spatial concentration gradients. Um, we have one independent variable time, and so we're going to write down a system what are called ordinary differential equations, where the independent variable is time. So um, the the Michaelis-Menten model, like m many enzyme um, um, models of enzyme mechanisms, assumes that all of these arrows in this diagram. Are associated. Uh, are, there are associated with all of these arrows rate constants, um, which define the, um, the the relative rate of probability of all of these different transitions occurring. And so, based on these these rate constants, we can then write down differential equations. So, in order to do that, the first thing we do is we make a simple uh, definition. Um, s simple set of definitions. So, we're going to refer to concentration of S as little script S, concentration of P as P, concentration of E as little e, and then concentration of this complex ES as, as little c, okay? And so that we can write down uh, differential equations for the rate of change of concentration S, concentration P, concentration E, concentration C as follows. So uh, ds dt, the rate of change of S, is given by the rate of disappearance of, e of S, okay? S disappears through this process, plus the rate of appearance of S, so S appears through this process. So the disappearance process has a negative sign in front of it, and so the rate of disappearance is this rate constant E, following the law of mass action, E, uh, k sorry, K1 times E times S, okay? And the rate of appearance of S is K minus 1 times the concentration of the complex C. So the more complex there is, it, then the, f the, um, the faster this reverse reaction proceeds. Okay, product can only appear, and it appears via this process K plus 2 times complex C. The free enzyme can disappear okay, um, with this transition rate, which is the same as the rate of disappearance of E, because it's this process here, so minus K1 times ES, and it can appear via 
um, this reverse process or this forward process. So it's plus k minus 1 times es and plus k2 times times es, or es is c, right? Um, I should be careful, we should be careful. Um, when I say es here in this mathematical equation, what I mean is variable e times variable s. I don't mean concentration of es, which we've denoted by c, okay? So let, let's be careful about that. So the complex concentration c uh, changes um, according to uh, th this expression. It appears with the, po at the, with the positive rate plus K1 times E times S, okay? And it disappears via this process and this process. So K minus 1 times C uh, and K2 times C. So one thing you might notice um, is that if we add up this equation and this equation, we get d dt plus dc dt is equal to, since the right-hand sides are, are, are equal, have um, opposite signs, they cancel, and the rate of change of e plus c is equal to zero. Um, or another way of saying that is that there's some constant total enzyme concentration, which is the free enzyme plus the complex, okay? And that e zero doesn't change. That's a constant. All right, so actually we can we can use that piece of information to turn these four equations, and that's useful to do, um, into three equations. Okay, so the way I've done that is I've just substituted every time I see a C, um, I've substituted E0 minus E, okay, in these first three equations. So now I have equations for S, P, and E. So this is called a, um, a three-dimensional um uh, ordinary differential equation or a system of three ordinary differential equations for three state variables S, P, and E. This is our mathematical model for the Michaelis-Menten enzyme catalyzed reaction. So this is, um, as far as writing down the mathematics um, of this system, we're done. Okay, and what we need to do next is to find a way to simulate um, this process uh, using a computer. And that's going to be the sub subject of part two of this tutorial.